بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين الله تبارك وتعالى says in سورة البقرة in chapter 2 verse 281 بعد عوض بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم واتقوا يوما ترجعون فيه إلى الله ثم توفى كل نفس ما كسبت وهم لا يظلمون and fear a day when you will be returned to Allah then every soul will be compensated for what it earned and they will not be wronged, i.e. treated unjustly. This verse was among the last verses, if not the last verse revealed. And it's talking about taqwa, taqwa, you know, from, this is the month of taqwa. And Allah is advising us to fear the last day. Ittaqu, ittaqu comes from the verb waqa, is you protect yourself from danger. There is something very dangerous that you need to protect yourself from. And that is, you know, the hisab on the day of judgment. Beware of a day when every word you say, every action you do, you know, you will have to answer for it. You will have to answer it for it to Allah. Why did you give? Why did you withhold? Why did you smile? Why did you frown? Why did you, anything that you do in this, in this life, you will have to answer in front of Allah one day. And Allah is advising us, fear that day and make sure that you don't do something that you're going to regret on that day when you're asked. So we have to inspect everything that we do in this life and make sure that we don't do anything that we regret in the future. What happened in the past is in the past. We, we cannot do anything about it. The future is unknown. All we have is this moment, this hour. That's all we have. But in this hour, we can do so many things. We can repent to Allah. We can mend the relationship among each other. We can give charity. We can be good to people. We can judge ourselves before we're judged. We can inspect our income see what our family is doing, make sure that the, the children are raised correctly. Is there anything that doesn't please Allah? Is, you know, is there the acts of worship that we're doing? Do they fall short? Are we really doing them the way we should? There's so many things that this moment is the time to inspect all of that and make sure that we take full advantage of this moment while we're in it. Self-reflection is a critical activity of a believer. You have, I mean, the Sahaba used to judge themselves every evening. What did I do during the day? And they were tough on themselves. For your brother, you make a lot of excuses, but for yourself, you, are, you have to be tough on yourself. Why did I say that word? Why did I smile? Maybe you shouldn't have. So we have to be sensitive to what we do, what we say, and how we act, because Allah will hold us responsible for it. Now, so refraining from eating and drinking in, you know, in Ramadan is the fasting of the masses. The fasting of the righteous is something higher than that. I mean, we have to do more than just, you know, we have to develop that taqwa. At Tirmidhi in Hadith Hassan, and Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu reported that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Badiru bil a'mali sab'an, hal tantadiruna illa faqran munsiyan, aw ghinan mutghiyan, aw maradan mufsidan, aw haraman mufannidan, aw mawtan mujhizan, aw id dajjal, fa sharru ghaibin yuntadar, aw is sa'a, fa sa'a tu adha wa amar. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Hasten to do good deeds before you are overtaken by one of these seven afflictions. Take advantage of the moment before things change. Then he giving as a warning, he said, Are you waiting for poverty which will make you unmindful of devotion? You know, you can be worshipping the second somebody gets into poverty, then they're consumed with poverty, they may forget worship and, you know, that, that's a big test. Or prosperity which will make you corrupt. Or a disease which will disable you. Or senility which will make you mentally unstable. Or death which will take you all of a sudden. Or a Dajjal, the false messiah, who, who is the worst expected. 
or the hour, and the hour will be most grievous and most bitter. Don't wait for these things to catch you off guard. Hasten to good deeds. This is the month of doing good deeds and hasten to it. So the hadith is, is, is just that, is, is a call to hasten to good deeds with all seriousness and commitment. The crown jewel of this life is good deeds. That's why we were created for. We were created for good deeds. To earn heaven and to earn Allah's pleasure. That's our job in this life. If we are not doing good deeds, we are being distracted from our role. And good deeds are a dying person's regret. In Surat Al-Mu'minun, chapter 23, in verse, per part of verse 99 and 100, قَالَ رَبِّ ارْجِعُونَ لَعَلِّي أَعْمَلُ صَالِحًا He, the dying person, says, My Lord, send me back that I might do righteousness. Regret grips the unbeliever. You know, the, the people who don't believe in Allah, they will believe at, at some point when at the moment of death, they will know the truth. And then regret will set in that they did not use their limited time on this earth to do good. That's the first regret that they get. And some of that regret will touch the believers as well. We could have done better. I could have had a better grade in heaven. You know, I, maybe I should have donated more. Maybe I should have volunteered my time more. Maybe I shouldn't have wasted a lot of time. These are all, Yawm is, al-Taghabun is one of the, the names of the Day of Judgment. When you feel like you're shortchanged, you exchange when, when you go in and you buy something cheap and you pay a lot of money for it, that intense feeling is, is I mean, it hurts. It hurts even in, in, in worldly matter. When you exchange something valuable for something you know, cheap, it, it's, it's, a, it's not a nice feeling. And that's a regret that the, even the believers will have on the Day of Judgment you know, for not doing enough. So we have, to, we have to hasten. We have to rush into good deeds and the pleasure of Allah. If you are afflicted with a sin, stop it. If you are waiting to spend your money, do it. Don't wait. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. Now you have this moment, but tomorrow, who knows? You want to trust your children to, do, to, to spend your money for you and on your behalf? They're probably not going to do it. While you are still alive, if you, have, if you are thinking of doing something good, grab that chance. Do not say, I'll do it next month. Do it now. You don't have next month. We, you know... No one knows what the future holds. We don't even know if there's a future. We don't even know if we're going to be waking up tomorrow. So if you're going to intend to do something good, hasten to do it. That's the advice from Allah and Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Alhamdulillah.